Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Welcome. Hello. Welcome hey. to you. Yes. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm excited. I love doing these recordings with you guys, and I love showing our listeners and our students on YouTube what it's like to listen to a fast group conversation. What do you guys think? Yes. Yes, that is the yes. toughest part, right? We talk a lot about the gap, about you guys have studied yeah. for so long. And even if you live in Canada, you're in the US, you're in Australia, you still feel like you can't take part in these fast group conversations. So we are here to help. Exactly. And the key here is none of this is out of a textbook, guys. You are probably still studying with textbooks, but we are giving you the real stuff, the good stuff right here, the real English. So today's topic, guys, is all about the advantages and disadvantages of going back to school as an adult. Let's say after college, let's say at that age, around the age of 23, 24 or higher. Okay. So I want to know what you guys think as a first off reaction. What would you say are some of the advantages? I know Jessica, you've had some experience with toying with the idea of going back to school. So why don't you start, it up, start us off here? What are the advantages? I toy with lots of ideas. <laughs> And then I, I jump in 100% and then I figure out the details so it doesn't always work out. That's what happened with this. I love studying philosophy. I've been listening to podcasts and reading books about it, listening to audiobooks um, about many aspects of philosophy for a very long time. And so finally I was like, you know what? I want to formalize these studies. I want to learn from experts. So I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get another bachelor's degree in okay. philosophy. And I got so excited. I enrolled in a couple classes at the community college. Um, and then I realized quickly how much money it was going to cost. Oh. Um, like going to school the first time I took out student loans, like my parents didn't pay for it. Um, yeah. but we got it done. Like we managed. Um, and I didn't realize how much inflation has in, uh, oh. infected and affected. It is insane. You guys. So for like, just like two years, let's say two years, going to school would cost me $30,000, yeah. $30,000. Yeah. And so yeah. I, when mm -hmm. I, when I realized that I did all the math, I was like, I cannot responsibly do that. Right. I have to send my son to school. No. So mm. school, right. And it's not even a master's, it's a bachelor's degree. Right. right? So that's the other piece. And I, I think it's more than just inflation. I think it's just, I think the higher ed track has been on its own track of crazy exponential increases. Yeah. Uh, it's insane. If you think about how much it so costs nuts. when you went to school compared to now, yeah. it's unsustainable. Like there's just no way, but, I, but we're sticking to the adult after college going back, let's say. Right. I think oh, as far yeah. as advantages, like I can, I feel like you're so young when you have to choose what you're going to focus on for your studies. Totally. That's totally. what it was for me is I, I love what I studied and I love what I'm doing. But once I finished my bachelor's degree and my graduate degree, I got really excited about adoption law. I really wanted to be oh. an adoption attorney. I have a good friend that's a lawyer and she's looking for a partner. And if I had had a law degree right then, I would have been yeah. her partner and I would have been practicing adoption law. So I started looking wow. into getting a law degree and the expense and I had four children. So the time yeah. and the expense, it was totally yeah. impossible. Yeah. You know, it's just so tricky, like Jessica was saying, but as far as advantages, like it'd be so nice to be able to later in life, choose what you want to do as you yeah. evolve yeah. as a person and become something else and be able to like, yeah, okay, I'm going to do this now. But yeah. realistically... Right. Yeah. Well, that's Practically. like, that's the main reason, right? Like this is something that's, you know, like I feel like it would help me personally in my life. Like yeah. as a human, I want to think about totally. this. Like totally we are here to figure stuff out. Right. And I, yeah. I was so excited to be able to do this. Yeah. And then I was like, I can't like, it's just yeah. prohibitive. There's yeah. no way. Yeah. My friend Guy is always telling me he feels like he needs to clear the cobwebs in his mind as an adult, mm -hmm. as a 40 year old running a restaurant. Yeah. He feels like he's never in situations where he's engaging in intellectual debate except for yeah. when him and I are hanging out or him and a few friends right so totally. we like to go out and sit there and talk about things kind of on that deeper level but the fact yeah. is as an adult there really is no opportunity to get deep on stuff in your daily life right right so yeah. that's the that's another advantage is just to keep your mind keep the wheels turning and feel like a like a true human being that thinks and exists yes. in the world and you have you know existentially so yeah, that's yeah. at the beginning of COVID, they started making some classes 
free of charge online classes for yeah. high school students. And I totally took advantage of that. I started like signing up for all of them through my daughter's account. Nobody awesome. tell on me, but <laughs> and it was so fun to just be taking like a world history course and a so philosophy course and be able to yeah. just audit it free of charge. But again, yes. the time. I didn't have the time yeah. to spend on it that I would have liked to, but it just felt good to be thinking yeah. about something and doing this coursework because I yes. loved college. I miss that. Me too. I yeah, loved okay. being a student yeah. so yeah. much. <laughs> I oh. think just in general, also, it's good for your health. It's good for your brain. I think totally. that, you know, like yes. that to be learning things, to be able to exercise Always. your brain and do things and like open up new tracks in your brain. Not that I know so much about the brain, um, but like, but if you could, I think it's supposed class. to be really really healthy for keeping your brain active. And, um, yes. so I, I do wish there was more of an emphasis on like adult education and being able to take opportunities like just for sure to take, I could go back to school for a million things. I know. Like, right? <laughs> I, I, I could go for a million things. I mean, there's not a day that, I mean, there are days that go by, I'm exaggerating, but like very often I'm like, Oh, like it'd be so cool to learn about this or that or that. But like, yeah, yeah real life. I mean, the amount of time and money you have to devote to these things, um, is <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, so if yeah, you don't have so the sad. time and if you can't pay all that money and that's a huge amount of money and then you have to weigh your priorities and like just yeah. for you, you're like, you felt that <laughs> unfortunately, you know, the way that you put it was that you felt it would be irresponsible because- right your son and yes that's, that's, it would be <laughs> like, the fact that like you said that like the irresponsible it's like that's too bad about like our it's society like if there was right. some sort of you know why is it irresponsible like i feel like there's like this feeling of you reach a certain age and then it's like all it's right all whatever about. you know now you know and like that's yeah, it yeah. like just like now right. you just gotta live and like go and work survive and, keep uh, other people alive right keep yeah, other humans and alive just, and you know i wish there was like some other system i wonder if um other countries have d different yeah. systems or put any higher value on that yeah I mean, that's the question, right? I think we've touched on some of the disadvantages yeah. here. Time, it, you know, not having enough time, having kids that you feel like that money needs to go to them. But what about other solutions, right? Do you think that, for example, higher ed or a master's degree or second bachelor should be cheaper for working adults, let's say over the age of 30 or something, yes. when maybe you have kids? What do you, and how would that work? I mean, yes, of course it should, right? But uh, let's talk about logistics and how, how well, would it work? Who pays for it, right? <laughs> that's so work. I did, I mean, I did read research every aspect of this. I can't, I don't even know how many hours I searched through like scholarship websites and like just Ugh. any way to make this feasible. Right. Um, yeah. and one of, one of the things there is in the States, there's a lifetime learning credit that you can take on your taxes, but it's, I mean, it's like a maximum credit tax credit of like a thousand dollars or $1,500. And that's, get you far. and that that's equals like one class these days. Like literally that's like one yeah. class. That's like half of a class at a, you know, at a university. So I think, but that, um, but that idea would work, right? Having like tax credits for that. Um, okay. I don't know, like where else would the money come from besides the government? Well, I'm so not sure. My, my husband worked for a company that they provided, the company's name was Degreed, and what they did was um, an educational system for continuing education that companies purchased and they could provide continuing education for whatever their employees might need, right? Yeah. And so this company provided him and all of his coworkers um, a certain amount of money to spend on educational materials to use, ah, that's awesome. yeah, which was that's amazing. Great. But the time is still an issue. They're not yeah, saying like, yeah. use six of your hours on the clock to do that. No, it needs to be yeah, in your free time, but sure. still to have that um, stipend, like money to yeah. buy books and to buy online courses it was huge. Like it certainly wouldn't be possible for every company, but companies who can afford that should definitely do that. Right. Make that yeah. possible. It's good for them too. Their employees are, yeah. are becoming more informed and getting more yeah. skills. And so, yes, was, you know, were there requirements, that. were there requirements in that program around certain things that you're studying with it, like related to your job or was it just take literature classes, take whatever you feel like. I feel like there was some of both. It was like, okay. some of this can be used for anything that interests Got you. It. And Got some it. of it needs to be like continuing education for nice. your role. That's a good mm. balance. Yeah. yeah really like, awesome. I wish that could happen, you know, for, for every company, for more people, it would be mm -hmm. amazing. It's like in an ideal world, but then who has the time? <laughs>
<laughs> you know, I mean, but like, we all know that like, if it's something you really want to do that you're really motivated to do, you'll find you'll the, time. the time. I mean, oh, that, you know, everybody says that as well. And right. give up, you know, we else. don't all like if we're if you're already yeah. working, and you're already like in a field, maybe you don't need a degree degree either unless it's going oh. to help you get another job like i have a friend who went back to school for nursing and she's on that track now and like that's amazing oh, yeah um but i mean as an adult if you want to learn luckily i mean look at what we do for people we create right. courses that are a hundred percent online a hundred percent flexible so adults can Get it, can they can learn whenever yeah. they want to, they can yeah. learn yes. with us, right? right, right. Very yeah. affordable compared to what you were looking at right. paying for your course. Oh my gosh, yeah. redefining learning, right? Yes. Learning doesn't happen in the ivory right. tower anymore, and I think that's more right. and more how it's going to have to happen for undergrads as well. Because who yeah. is going to be able to afford this in yeah. 10 or yeah. 15 years, honestly? Um, also, but I have kids, I don't think they're going to college. <laughs> that's yeah. nuts. I mean, there are also certificates, <laughs> certificate programs, like maybe sure. there needs to be kind of like a new. Yeah, yeah. reimagining education re instead of it being yep. like Lindsay yeah. said, like yeah. instead of it having yep. to be like through the university, be, yeah, like you know, it, maybe having other programs that are still official, like so people can put something on their resume, totally. um, you totally. know, as having done that and yeah. just ability. I think you know, it'll be interesting to see where education goes. Yeah, like absolutely. 10, 20 years. <clears throat> and like couple couple that with our knowledge. And I know this is true in a lot of other countries as well. People were talking about it in Taiwan when I lived there like 15 years ago. Um, everybody has a bachelor's degree these days, right? Bachelor's right. degrees are a dime a dozen. And it's like, it almost doesn't even matter yeah. anymore if you have mm -hmm. a bachelor's degree. So why mm -hmm. is it like five times more expensive to get this thing that matters less these days, yeah. Yeah. right? Um, yep. It's mm -hmm. so Completely. tricky, right? Yeah, this is a really tricky thing. I think we might be running out of time, but just yeah. real quick, let's go around and say, if you were to get a degree, what would you study? If you were to go back to school real quick, Jessica, well, we know it would be. You guys know philosophy. philosophy. You guys know. We know that. We know <laughs> that. Aubrey, what about you, be, Law? Michelle, yeah. what would it be for you? Um, right now, uh, yep. I, w I would maybe be like, I do like psychology maybe. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Also for me, I think it would be something like culinary where I'm using my hands. Like I would like oh, to learn wow. to, to cook. I, yeah. I would like something totally oh. opposite of working online. Just balance things out. Yeah. That would be amazing. Awesome. That'd be awesome. Oh <laughs> so, guys, this has been a great conversation today. And remember for our listeners on YouTube here who are listening or watching today's conversation, a great way to work on your fast English listening is by getting into our program. So go to allersenglish.com slash F-A-S-T to join and get weekly quizzes with fast conversations. All yes. right, guys. Awesome. Thanks for hanging out. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Bye. bye.